Hey everyone, how you doing today? It's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in central Ohio. Hope you are having a good day today. And you know, no matter what kind of day I have, when I hang out down here in the whiskey den, my day gets a little bit better because I get to enjoy some bourbon and visit with you guys. I feel like Mr. Rogers. <laughs> hey, neighbor. How's, it, how's things going in your neighborhood? I don't know. So, you know what? I wanted... It's... I have to admit something. It's getting a little bit hard for me to try to figure out what to talk about on some of these videos. So I come down here and I kind of look and I dwell. It's like, eh, let me... Because I don't really want to open anything else. I got so much bourbon that's open. I want to kind of enjoy what I got. And... There's been things I've been wanting to talk about that's been in the back of my brain. And one of them is these, I want to do a little shootout. I was not I was going to do it blind, but then it's like, why? Because sometimes that's fun, sometimes it's not. But right now I want to know what I'm drinking. <laughs> so, and I can probably easily tell which is which anyway. I don't want to see what's the best, but I just want to see if these are comparable. So, these are three expressions of bourbon from the and you know what jason jason lives near by me and he stumbled on the channel and we're members of the central ohio bourbon enthusiasts and he had mentioned in the comment how many times i said bourbon so jason if this is a drinking game how many times i say bourbon and you take a shot go on ahead <laughs> so three bourbon expressions from Buffalo Trace. So we got Eagle Rare, Benchmark Small Batch, and Buffalo Trace. All three are 90 proof. All three are out of Buffalo Trace. All three are um, mash bill number one from Buffalo Trace. And I kind of want to see if any of these, I know Eagle Rare and Buffalo Trace don't taste alike because of the aging and, and all that. And when we went to Buffalo Trace, our tour guide, Ray, R-A-E, had said, she's a she, <clears throat> had said that, you know, it's also, it's not, not even a matter of, I mean, it is a matter of mash bills and aging, but then where the warehouses, the rick houses are on the property, where the barrels are located in those rick houses, has a bearing on flavor. So I think my goal right now is to see if this benchmark small batch, because <laughs> there's like five, six different express, yeah, six different expressions now. So this is the 90 proofer. I want to see if that kind of holds its own against the other two. And I do enjoy Buffalo Trace. I'm not, you know, it's so hyped up. It, it's like everyone hypes it up here, and I just feel like it's here, but on its own merit, it's decent bourbon. So, uh, it's the Eagle Rare, I must have gotten a bad bottle. You know what, I've got, I got two more bottles in the bar. I got another bottle on my shelf over there because it's the previous version of the bottle label, so, you know, I can open one of those up, but I'm just, I just want to finish this one up. I might just see how it is now that, yeah, I've been tasting it quite a bit and now it's at a point where I actually enjoy a little pour of it. So let's start with, you know what? I'm going to do this. We'll do it by price. And I know it's in ascending order from your point of view, but for me, it no descending price, but from anyway. So here's the benchmark. And I believe this is a minimum three year age statement. Let's see. Yep, it's decent. It's not super expensive.
it's a decent 90 proof bourbon. It's, I don't think in my book it's going to win any awards, but it's decent. Now, the Buffalo Trace brand bourbon. You know, to me, it's comparable. The two of these are pretty comparable to each other. You know, and what Ray had mentioned, had said in the tour, said they... They blend for Buffalo Trace bourbon to get their signature flavor, you know, up to maybe 2,000 different barrels to get that signature blend. And to me, both of these taste very similar. Should get a little water. I have have a glass here handy. And then the Eagle Rare. I mean, this Eagle Rare was so bitter and oaky, but now it's sweetened up. Definitely the Eagle Rare of the three is the most refined in taste. But between these two, they're to my for my palate, they're pretty similar. And I'm not a professional taster. I'm just a bourbon enthusiast. I don't have super taste buds or anything like that. But um you know, they're pretty these two are pretty on par with each other. I will say at this point with the bottle, <laughs> the Eagle Rare is has sweetened up. It tastes more refined. It's more aged. It's it's a better, I would, like a year ago when I opened, I'd say the Buffalo Trace was a better bourbon than this, but this has actually gotten a lot better as the bottle's gotten emptier on this particular bottle. But, you know, if you are in the market for, in my opinion, in the market for a 90 proof bourbon from Buffalo Trace and you cannot find Buffalo Trace, or if you want to save a little bit money of money, save a little bit of money, go with the Benchmark Small Batch. Yep, yeah, that's a small batch. 90 proof, to me, it's pretty comparable but it's no eagle rare so if you're looking for eagle rare junior this isn't it so there you go i will leave it there there you go <laughs> so until should i close it out now i don't know yeah eagle rare and then these two are a tie. So there you go. Until next time, it's me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in central Ohio. Hope your next pour is your best pour. We'll catch you soon, and thanks for watching. Hey, everyone. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos as they drop. Thanks for watching.